What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel Sarah Marguerite and today's video is a cool one. Nice, short, sweet, and to the point this is a no makeup makeup look, okay? So this is a very light coverage type of look. So if you want to learn how to do it and just get some like awesome tips and tricks, then please keep on watching. So let's get right into the video. Whew, I'm looking rough. I don't even have my eyebrows done. That's how, that's how bad this is. Like I am natural, okay? All right, so the first thing that I do is I always put some Carmex on my lips because I don't got time for no chapped lips, okay? That's not cute. So I put some Carmex on. Now, listen, please listen carefully. In order to look bomb in this no makeup makeup look, you really have to take care of your skin first. You have to drink water and stuff like that. You gotta really have a, have a skincare routine, okay? So the first thing I do always is I use a facial spray and this is just to hydrate and refresh my skin. So I'm just going to spray real quick. Mm. And this one is Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. It's really good. You feel nice and, and hydrated. So I don't just let it sit. I kind of like wipe it into my face. Like try to massage it into my skin as best as I can. I'm just going to take a, a, a tiny bit. Okay, a tiny bit of this Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. But I'm just going to apply this mainly on my ch like ooh, on my cheekbones and I, I'm gonna do a bit on my forehead and stuff like that and a bit on my nose too why not so I'm just going to rub this in and you see how it kind of creates a little bit of a glow just want to apply this because you want your skin to appear nice and healthy and glowy and stuff like that so I just think that that's really important so you see that it's like okay you got a little natural glow sis I see you I see you next for the pores I'm just going to use this little thing this is Maybelline's baby skin and this is an OG but it's actually good though and I um use it because it is good because it kind of fills in my pores and like I have larger pores like right here so I'm just gonna put a little bit you don't want to go too intense because you don't want to look matte because then it kind of defeats the whole purpose but just where like you have big pores like I like to do it um like right right in here and, and on my chin a bit that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. And on the bottom of my nose. Cause, uh, uh. So this is what we have. And it's good to have a base like this. So now, um, I'm going to actually mix the um, this, this um, foundation that is on the back of my hand. Which is Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless in the shade Mocha. And I am going to mix it with a bit of facial lotion to create my own BB cream. So I just take a bit of lotion. This might be a bit too much, but we gonna see. And I'm gonna just take it on the back of my hand and kind of like use my finger. Ew. But I'm gonna use my finger and mix it together. So you see that on my hand? And it's not like it's anything like, like too um, complicated to do. 
you can use a spatula or like a brush or something like that but I just don't care because it is my own face and I just don't care so now I'm going to just go in um and it's gonna be sheer so if you are trying to cover up like dark marks or anything like that and um you just want like the like a fuller coverage then you don't have to sheer out but it kind of defeats the whole purpose because then people are going to know that you're wearing makeup you know now i'm going to go in with my sponge and this is the real technique sponge and just tap it in and with the sponge i like it because it just helps to kind of blend the um, foundation out and always you you always want to blend it into your hairline and um you can get your ears if you want to no big deal and then try to get your chin too all right so we got this happening and it looks like my skin doesn't it so i'm going to use a bit of tarte shape tape concealer and when i say a bit I mean a bit because this is a full coverage concealer and it can be a bit drying so I just use it on my dark spots like very very lightly and I'm not going to do it on all of them just a couple and then I'm also going to apply a bit like the tiniest amount under my eyes to kind of like brighten it up. And you don't want to do a whole lot because that's just going to defeat the purpose. And it could be like, sis, you really put on a full face of makeup? <laughs> and I just use my finger. Like, you don't have to be real fancy or anything like that. If you want to, then do you, sis. Do you. Alright, so I'm just going to go in with any face powder. This was the first one that I picked up. And I'm just going to tap off a little bit and I'm not even going to like strategically place it anywhere but I'm just doing like the tiniest amounts of powder and this is just to set the um, foundation and stuff that we did so that way it doesn't move we don't want to put a whole a lot because then you're gonna look matte and your skin is not gonna look natural you know so now I'm going to go in with some concealer on my lids just the just the tiniest bit I just want to add a bit of concealer to kind of brighten everything up so you see that you got that going on real easy you can use your finger it's super simple and then you just want to go back with with your powder to whoa wow okay jeez okay anyway <laughs> you want to go in with your powder and just set your eyes and set that concealer so if you are like me you have naturally thick brows which is definitely a it, advantage because you don't have to do much like like um take a pencil and really like go in and like um create like a brow because you already have one so for us our best friend is a tinted brow gel and this one is from anastasia beverly hills in the shade chocolate i think yes i'm just gonna take some of it and just run it through my brow and try to focus most of the product at the end and just kind of like fill in the the um fill in the like gaps basically so but I don't want it to look like I like like um pencil them in or anything like that so this is how it's it's looking Sometimes I go and like I brush the front up and then I come back like that. 
And it, and it looks like we didn't really do anything. <laughs> but it's definitely noticeable to me that I did something. Now I am going to go in with a bit heavier concealer. This is janky, but this is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills contour kit. This is the this is the medium one, but I like to use it when I don't get my eyebrows done and I have a whole bunch of hair and I want to look like I just got my eyebrows done. So I'm gonna take it and angled brush and kind of kind of go under my brow to kind of help with the shape so i just like to lift it up so i can really see and i don't add a lot of concealer just just enough to hide the hair at the bottom and i don't normally put it at the top when i am trying to go for a natural look you know and I'm just going to blend it out with the brush. And I actually like to add a bit of blush. Not not a lot of blush, but just a little bit of blush to um, just give me some color. So I'm going to just like gently apply this. I didn't even add any contour. That's crazy to me, but I might add a bit. Like a, like a tiny bit. But yeah. Just add a little, just a, just a, just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't really want to add contour because I, I don't know. Like, I just don't think that it's necessary. But you know what is? A little bit of highlight. So I'm going to... Wow, okay. So, I'm gonna use a bit of highlight, a bit of highlight, not not anything crazy. And you already know which one this is. You already know, you already know. If you are a true fan, <laughs> then you know what this is already. So, I'm just literally like tapping it on right on my cheekbones. Nothing fancy. You don't want it to look like it's just sitting on your skin. I'm going to just add a little, a little bit more. I like to put some right here, right under my brow and above my brow. And again, on the other side, just a little bit or whatever. Just ooh, a little tiny bit. Under my brow and above my brow. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. Um, this is Maybelline. I think this is Maybelline or L'Oreal. I don't know. But this is the this is the Voluminous Lash Paradise, and this is waterproof one, which I'm not too big of a fan on because. Waterproof is so hard to get off, but hey, whatever. So I'm just going to apply a bit to my lashes. And take your time with this because you don't want it to be all messy and get on your lid and things like that. So you really want to just take your time and build it up. Build them up because you aren't going... Ooh! Take, take your time, like I said. Like, you want to get into the corners and everything and, like, build it up. I'm going to apply a bit more because I have teeny weeny lashes. Since we aren't going to apply falsies, it's just important to really take your time and build them up. To build your actual lashes up. So then, if you just want to add, like, a gloss which I um, typically do. I'm just gonna add a bit of gloss. So I'm gonna use this one. First of all, this is from the hair store, y'all. It don't even, <laughs> like all, all of the information and everything like that came off. So this joint is cheap, but it gives you a nice shine. Nothing like a hair store 
lip gloss. And if you don't know, you've been sleeping on it. Okay, so I'm gonna just add a bit because we already have our Carmex on. It's gonna be super moisturized today, okay? <laughs> and then we're just gonna spray our skin. So I'm gonna use MAC one. And this is the Fix Plus in the coconut scent. Really, really good. Love it so much. So before it completely dries, I like to use a sponge. I'm going to use this side and just kind of tap it into my skin to really get rid of the powdery look and stuff from when we put the powder and, and just to ensure a glow once again. And just like that, we're done, y'all. See, it was it was quick and it was easy. And you can just walk outside like... And it could be like, oh, her skin is popping. Oh, okay. She is super lit. And you could be like, yep. Like, oh, wait. Does she have on makeup? Does she? Does she not? And you'd be like... <laughs> this is just what I do when I don't feel like wearing makeup. But I still want some coverage <laughs> so this is what I tend to look like on the daily you know this is this is real this is me <laughs> thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to do the same and I will see you guys in my next video on Sunday hey See you guys. Bye.